Well, let's go ahead now and check in again with meteorologist Bill Grawl to get the latest on the storms that are moving through the area, Bill. Yeah, keeping a uh, very close eye on things again. If you missed it earlier, we are in a level three and four risk across our area, especially just to our west and southwest. Uh, you hardly see these even during the warm season, but uh, the fact that it's mid-December, almost unprecedented. Again, main timing threat for our viewing area, 7 to 11 o'clock, very strong winds and isolated tornadoes cannot be ruled out. In fact, a tornado watch for the entire viewing area until 11 o'clock. Uh, again, watching for those very strong winds. These storms have had a history of 60 to 90 mile per hour wind gusts uh, as they tracked across Kansas, Nebraska, far western Iowa. I'm hoping they weaken a little bit, but uh, just not sure it'd be enough to uh, uh, not hit severe limits. So we're still watching maybe 50, 60, even 70 mile per hour wind gusts. And again, that tornadic threat as well. Once the storms pass, it's still going to be windy overnight. A high wind warning in place for all areas until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And uh, even outside of the thunderstorms, we could see wind gusts of 50 to 60 plus miles per hour. So power outages, a real possibility tonight. That why, that's why we've been stressing on downloading that uh, First Alert weather app to your phone or iPad or your tablet. Uh, tree and power line damage, a possibility. Hopefully you secured any loose or lightweight objects on your property or in your yard. And uh, man, if you drive a uh, semi truck or a high profile vehicle, you might want to just hold off tonight if you can. Or if, if you do have to be out and about, uh, use extra caution, especially on east west roads as the winds are from the south. Not overly strong yet. Start to get some gusts approaching 30 miles per hour down to the south, uh, but these numbers will be coming up in the next couple of hours. We've had some non severe lighter rain showers thus far. Record high 67 degrees shattered the old record by 15 degrees, and this ties the warmest December uh, temperature ever recorded, which also occurred on December 5th of 1998, 67 degrees, and that was 34 degrees above average for today. We're still at 64. Again, winds are not overly strong yet. Pressure falling rapidly and quite low, indicating that powerful low pressure system spinning to our west. Look at the teens, 20s and 30s bumping into 50s, 60s and 70s. That's where the air masses are clashing, and that's where you get the trouble spots uh, along that boundary and most of our area still in the 60s, even close to 70 down to the south. And look at these dew points, almost unheard of for mid-December uh, with some upper 50s to lower 60s. So there were those lighter showers earlier. Again, here's the main concern, the squall line from northern Iowa down into northern Missouri. Lots of severe thunderstorm uh, warnings in place. Some good news I've noticed, a lot less tornado warnings. So hopefully these storms are weakening somewhat uh, before they reach our area. But we'll keep a close eye on them as this strong area of low pressure passes by to our north and west and uh, that's the cause for the rough weather expected this evening. So here's the squall line at about 7 o'clock just west of Rochester. Look at how fast it moves into the lacrosse area by about 8 or 9 and then it's out of here uh, by 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. But again, even beyond that, those winds will shift to the west and continue to be very strong. Uh, even tomorrow is looking blustery with uh, westerly winds, maybe gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour and temperatures a lot more typical of uh, this time of year. So for tonight, very windy. Again, I'll closely be watching that severe threat from 7 to 11. Fingers crossed that these storms weaken somewhat as they move into our area. Uh, temperatures by morning near freezing, so watch out for some slick spots on the sidewalks and roads. Not expecting heavy rain, by the way. It might rain to beat the bands for uh, uh, 20 to 30 minutes, but these storms are moving too fast to cause any flooding issues. Windy and colder tomorrow and staying more December-like for the next several days. Highs mainly in the 30s, lows in the teens and 20s. No major storm systems through about the middle of next week. Maybe some light snow or flurries. Saturday morning, especially north and again next Wednesday night into Thursday. But uh, again, I can't stress enough to just make sure you stay weather aware through about 11 o'clock tonight and even after that with those strong winds. Definitely. I know you'll be keeping us updated on all, all the platforms. Thanks, Bill.